So today we've got a Think Center E73. This is a Lenovo device one of my clients picked up. They picked up a series of five of these identical systems and uh, we got a couple hot spots from the lights coming through the shop today but I'm going to pop this thing open, show you what's inside. We're installing four of these between their two offices. This one's going to Lakewood, Colorado. Uh, so I was able to get this one up to the shop to open it up. And uh, I'm going to rip it open, show you what you get with it. And we'll, uh, if I've got time, I might run through a quick config on it. But we'll at least open it up and show you what's inside and what comes with it. So they include the slim keyboard with these. Uh, forgive the background noise. We have a server loading in the background here. And it's uh, fans are up in panic mode. Uh, during the install. So we've got the new slim Lenovo keyboard that comes with this one. It's not quite as beefy as the other ones, but this is a basic USB keyboard. It's okay, I'm not in love with it. It's, it's just okay. Some of the other keyboards they made in the past have a little bit beefier keys, uh, a little bit better spacing for me, but you know, keyboard, keyboard's a keyboard, everybody gets used to what they've got. It's a decent keyboard. Uh, it comes with an optical mouse with a wheel. Wheel mouse, again, real basic mouse, nothing fancy about that. These came loaded with Windows 7 on them. They don't give you the Windows 7 software, they just give you the Windows 8 software for a reload. So you'll want to make backups if you pick up one of these with the Windows 7 on it. Tons of styrofoam packing. And there's our workstation. Like the other Lenovo's, this has got the handle built into it. Uh, like the, I believe there were M series that we picked up before. Uh, they've got the handle. They're a decent case. Not super high quality, but overall a, a pretty fair case. Got a couple of USB ports on the front and your mic and headphone outputs. Uh, these came with DVD RWs in them. We've got a couple of IBM servers loading up out here today, so we've got a lot of background noise, there's a lot of fan noise going on, so I apologize for that. Here's our Lenovo workstation. I'm going to pop that thing open. These were ordered with an i5 processor, and uh, they only got four gigabytes of RAM in them which is fine for this client. I like to see 8 gigs in most cases, but they run a remote desktop server environment, so we don't need a lot of memory or processor in the local machines, but these did come with i5s and uh, 4 gigs of RAM. They've got, the, they've got 500 gigabyte SATA drives in them. And they were right around the uh, $600 price point. These machines are dual monitor capable. You've got to use your adapter for the display port and then a, a VGA for the other screen. But they are dual screen capable. We've got a couple USB 2 ports, your network, a couple regular USB ports, and obviously your multimedia inputs there, serial port. These look like, and I'm not, I don't know why, but it looks like they come with a serial port, or for a printer port as well, which is kind of nice, because every once in a while you run across an old printer, but in this application we won't use that. It just looks like that's a silly add-on that's on the machine. Uh, like I showed you before, I think on the front of the case, we've got uh, two USBs, and we've also got the headphone jack and the mic jack on the front of this. All the Novos come lately that I've, I've dealt with, come with this nice handle. It's just not that big of a deal for most people, but when you're you know, running machines around in an office, setting them up, it's nice to be able to grab that thing and haul it to the other end of the office. I, I kind of like that about the Lenovo systems. It also comes, and it's probably going to be difficult to see in there. My lights are not optimal because I've got servers on the other side of the table underneath my lights, but we've got two PCIe slots and another slot in there for uh, AGP expansion card. It does have three SATA ports on the motherboard, only two of which are used in this setup. It's got two slots for RAM. Got kind of a, it's a generic power supply, but it's a really small, cheesy power supply. It's not a real big, heavy duty power supply in this, but you'd have room to add a standard sized power supply in here if you need it to in the future for replacements. I think that's pretty much it. This is the E73. 
like I said, about a $600 machine. It'll run dual monitors. Good for an office environment. Not, not a gaming machine, not a high-end CAD machine, nothing fancy like that, but good for uh, your office, for your uh, you know, salespeople, customer service reps, that kind of thing. It, it's a good machine for that. Um, they did come with a three-year next business day warranty, so any parts on this that crash out or burn up would be uh, taken care of by the manufacturer for the first three years. Uh, again, it's the E73 by Lenovo. Pretty nice machine. Not a ton to talk about, but they're, they're decent machines. They last a long time and we've had good luck with them. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe below.